Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, hi, my name is Philip Colbert. I'm the designer of the Rodnick Band Collection. This is our studio in a secret location in East London. So I could give you a little overview about my concept. It's basically a fashion label that's marketed as a sort of ironic pop band. Um, funnily enough, it's been described as the worst band ever. There's a funny slogan over there. And we created these sort of funny little props. So that was quite a funny slogan. This is a giant cigarette. So, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I, um, the sort of ethos of my design is sort of <coughs> taking a humorous, sort of satirical play on, on iconic works of art and sort of, and in essence, humorously playing on what I think is interesting about fashion, which is a sort of element of escapism and humour and um, fantasy that, f that, that for me is the most interesting thing about fashion. I sort of get slightly bored when fashion becomes too serious or takes itself too seriously for the sake of prettiness or, or you know, the cyclical you know, fulfilling of trends and things which actually become slightly meaningless and um, repetitive. And so for me I like to think of fashion a bit like a, the narrative of an artist and sort of you know, just making things that sort of have, have a humorous comment sort of thing. Um, so you can see some of the designs. I've just got a collection coming out actually in OVS, which is a big um, chain in Italy. It's actually the biggest one. It's got 400 stores across Italy. And um, I've got a collection coming out next, next month there. These are a little sneak peek at some designs for it. Um, this is actually a separate design. This is a sort of after a Mondrian. It's a sort of spoof of a Mondrian dress. I like the idea of doing bad sort of copies um, of the Mondrian dress, but here's some designs. I mean, the new collection for OVS is is sort of honing in on a on a sort of quirky Britishness that I'm really interested in, and um, uh, but also keeping the sort of reference to uh, the modern art, etc. So things like a telephone box coat, um, which is quite fun. I've done a series of Union Jack um, prints based on Fernand Leger, the construction painter from France 30s and stuff. I made some sort of Union Jack construction sites. Um, I did some quite funny sort of uh, new fish. I was quite into fish and chips as an idea as a British sort of quirky thing and so I did some prints with sort of Rodnick Times newspapers on my head and stuff and then some fish and chips and things. Um, <coughs> it's also just like the idea of, of the sort of builders and uh, you know Douglas I did some funny you know builders dresses. Um, what else have we got? I mean this is only just a few things that happen to remain on the wall. The collection's actually quite large, it's got about 30 pieces and um, a few sort of accessories like handbags and things which is quite exciting. But I um, don't know much. I mean, this is a, a dress with some fun sort of shoulder pads, which is again like a black and white construction site. Um, and then you know, I did a series of print. I mean, this is actually I've got a second collection of accessories coming out um, with a silk factory in Como called Taruni Silk, which is one of the oldest silk factories in in Italy. And um, I've got a collection of, of scarves and things I'm doing with them. And the, these sort of cigarette prints are actually for one of the scarves. Um, yeah, that's a rough and similarly with the eggs, the fried eggs. I, I was interested in the chicken as a sort of humorous, you know, symbol of, you know, almost like a comic symbol in fashion somehow, and, and so fried eggs obviously have that humorous iconography, and so, I, and I just, I guess I, I'm quite interested in finding, you know, almost pop art qualities in, in more domestic objects that, that are all, that have a sort of quite British sensibility and also a peculiarity in fashion somehow. I mean, funnily enough, I, I had this uh, chat with this philosopher at Underbottom, and he um, was saying how he thought um, <laughs> there was quite an interesting similarity between fashion and cookery. And I quite like that concept, the idea of the temporary nature of fashion, almost like the temporary nature of cooking. And, and I sort of thought that was quite a fun way of looking at it. And it reminded me actually quite a lot of all those um, pottery plates that Picasso did of sort of, uh, you know, uh, chips and sort of fish bones and cutlery on, on plates, which is quite a nice sort of thing. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's... I've got to work on a new song, which we're recording to, for the rest of it today. It's called um, God Dress the Queen, and it's a funny sort of um, inspired sort of song based on, say, some iconic songs of London, like London Calling and, and, um, and obviously God Save the Queen. Um, and that's again going to be launched in, in for the Italian collection and we're shooting a music video in Paris next week. For this collection it's quite easy because it's um, the, the concept was, was specifically very British and trying to, you know, this idea of London clothing as a concept, especially when you're selling abroad and things, for me I guess 
the essence of what I'm about is a sort of um, an artistic sensibility, definitely, but also quite a British um, st style and, and sort of way of thinking. So a lot of the my designs are very sort of deliberately quite iconic um, and British. So the, the idea of trying to reference uh, such sort of interesting cultural sort of marketing movements like like the, the Clash or the Sex Pistols is um, it's quite a clear focus to the concept. So, it, so it sort of was quite a natural progression to be able to write a song based on these designs and sort of um, and yeah, perform them in that sort of way. For me, it's just because I guess because I am trying to market a concept of a fashion band as a new idea, as a new way of presenting clothes. I think that always inspires me to, to perform and, and try and at least be different in the way it's presented. At the moment, I still haven't really properly gone into men's where I've done a collection with energy the, the men's were label of Miss 60 but have um, have yet to do a men's were collection on my own um, uh, in terms of you, I mean sometimes also if you're trying to do everything well it's like it's hard enough to be a great band and to do a great fashion collection and everything so I think for me the music is just I don't take it that seriously it's a fun it's just an expression of, yeah. of the clothing and if it uh, you know um, hopefully the clothing isn't also the worst clothing ever. <laughs> it's, not, it's not. Yeah, can, can you show me a few of the pieces? You don't um, have to pull them all out, but maybe yeah, just well, I mean, I can show you just a few things. I mean, these are from random seasons. Everything's a bit. Okay. So here's a, a top, which um, is sort of a Robnick Van slogan, sort of based after the Coach Switcher's Dada print. Um, you can see that. Cool. Um, what else have I got? I've got. This is the top that goes to um, this top. Sort of matches a. Um, a sort of skirt, which is like a cubist guitar, sort of after Picasso. So it's like after. I mean, it's a bit. Sorry, it's a bit. Of, um, so cool. Um, I haven't got a great deal. Sadly, this is actually a dress I did with OBS, which is a. Oh, I love. I, sort of I think I love that even more than the sequin one, just because it would probably be less fragile. Yeah. Well, this is just a. This is was a part of the OVS collection last season. And this actually was great, this sold out within a week, which is amazing, in 50 stores. So, so you haven't made any more? So, no, well, th this was part of last season, so I, I, tried, I, well, I just wanted to make the new season a different, a different collection. This is quite fun, this is like a little uh, top after um, <laughs> the Kiriko. I don't know, he did some fun costumes for the Ballet Russe, and I really liked the architectural, sort of the spin of, off of his paintings on clothes. And for me, I guess I was very interested in, um, in clothing that very... Um, literally, rep you know, so when artists have made costumes, when they very literally take the artistic identity that they, tr you know, translate onto the, pa the paintings into onto clothes, because I, I guess I'm interested in this idea of wearable art as as a new as an actual real medium of art, you know, because art that, that has legs that can walk around is almost for me more like a real still life than a painting will ever be.